guys, what's up? It's your girl Shardy on, and I am back with another video. So, I know I have been missing. I say this all the time. So, y'all used to it. I'm not even going to keep trying to, you know, give y'all a whole explanation as to where I've been. Um, but I do want to share some good news with you guys and, you know, try to get, try to get myself in a moment to share this information and document this whole journey because it is so exciting so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get right into it i'm pregnant i'm also engaged what 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 hold up oh, hold up wait a minute wow Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> um that's pretty much where i've been um i have spent you know, all this time just living in the moment and, you know, moving, getting acclimated back into my hometown. And, you know, things just took off and we're super duper excited. Um, hopefully I can try to convince him into getting in the camera one day. I don't know how that'll work. He's kind of like a private guy, but I'm sure um, you guys will see clips of him at some point. Granted, if I stay consistent, but yeah. So, I have some notes in my phone. I'm just gonna go through them and answer some of them. So, I am 11 weeks pregnant. Yes, 11 weeks pregnant. I had to think about that for a moment. So, you know, my fiance and I are totally excited. Um, it, we were both shocked. We were both like, wow, there's a lot we're trying to do right now. So, the timing isn't great, but you know, we're great for each other. So, hey, let's you know go on this journey together so we're excited about it nonetheless um so i'm gonna talk a little bit about my symptoms because y'all it's real it's like it's getting real in this house it's really getting real so one of the things that i face and it's like uh is i have very very restless nights um i typically can go to bed and fall asleep but i know i'm gonna wake up around like 3 a.m 4 a.m ish and it's usually because my bladder is so full and once i go to the restroom and i get back in bed i just cannot go to sleep it is so terrible what's even worse is that i spend all day long fighting my sleep and then when I get in bed, it's like I don't even get a full rest. And so that's what just, it, it's terrible. I'm so tired, my energy is so, so very low. Um, that was one of the symptoms I put on here. Um, I'm often, you know, winded, doing very small tasks. Like I was trying to load the dishwasher the other day and your girl was tired, like tired, just trying to load the dishwasher, like kid you not. So, just super tired as so i said it took a lot for me to just get myself up off the couch today and be like i'm gonna do this video because i'm winded all the time um loss of appetite i'm not very hungry a lot of the times like i like don't have a lot of cravings it's more of food aversions like i just look at something i'm like oh no <laughs> no um my teeth are very very sensitive especially on this side um just very very sensitive like I was drinking warm temperature water like an hour ago and they were just like very very sensitive almost as if I'm gonna have a toothache never had one before so I just know that my teeth feel very weird so I have a doctor's appointment coming up or a dentist appointment coming up very soon to just figure out what I can do about that um, heartburn I am a spicy food lover. I love my tacos. I love my hot sauce. I love my peppers. And I cannot really eat it because I just have heartburn. Like I had some very spicy noodles earlier in the day. And that, it's been like three or four hours now and I still feel the heartburn. So I have to get out of that. Um, I was eating hot Cheetos the other day, same thing. And I just keep forgetting, like, girl, you cannot eat like that. Like, this baby does not like that. So, yeah. Um, I have to urinate a lot. I feel like a lot of people think that, you know, the urination frequency happens a lot for women that are further along in their pregnancy. And that has not been the case for me. Like, I have to go, like, literally maybe my six-week mark that's when it started where I was like oh my god I'm peeing all the time um and I think that's just because of you know my the baby and the bladder and all that so 
routine. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of headaches. The sad part of about that is that I cannot take anything other than Tylenol. And y'all know Tylenol don't do nothing. Like, Tylenol don't do nothing for you. So, I haven't, you know, taken Tylenol yet um, at all. I just kind of try to just bear through the pain. Um, but my head hurts a lot. Um, I have leg soreness, especially if I'm sitting for a long time. So, I am employed full time. And so, I do eight hours. You know, every single day I do eight hours except for the weekends. And, you know, I can feel my legs midway throughout the day becoming kind of stiff and achy. So I have to stand up frequently and, you know, kind of just get some circulation going in my legs. Um, in the beginning, I was having a lot of back pain. Not so much now. Um, but I do have, like, those back aches um, at night. I notice the back aches. Um, this has probably been the worst symptom yet and I cannot wait for it to go away. I'm praying that second trimester it is gone and I can just live my life because I tell y'all, what am I to tell y'all? It's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy, y'all. I smell like weird stuff. All day long, I smell it on myself, I smell it on other people, I smell it in the food. I smell garlic, onions, and roasted coffee all mixed together. I'll say it again. Garlic, onions, and roasted coffee all mixed together. And I have done tons of research and I think it's just hormones. Like I, I feel like I smell it out of my pores. Um, so inevitably, I feel like I smell all day long. Like, you know, if I sweat, I immediately smell it. When I go to the bathroom, I smell it. Um, anything like when I'm putting deodorant on, I smell it. Like it, it, I feel like it's coming out of my pores, but I also smell it on other people. So I don't know if it's just body odor in general. Um, my nose is very, very sensitive. I smell everything like everything but it usually comes with like an after smell of coffee onions and coffee coffee onions and garlic all together so that's been a mess i've done some research and i've seen some ladies say that they smell chicken soup and i can kind of see the like the chicken soup comparison so I'm, I'm not sure if it's the same scent but i think that it is because the coffee or the garlic and the onion together i can see how it's like campbell's chicken soup smelling you know um, I'm very irritable, so now I, like, you guys are probably thinking, like, oh, you're really irritable, like, I'm very chipper and stuff, like, y'all, this is just, <laughs> this is a facade, I'm telling y'all, because, and I'm alone today, that's one, um, but I spend most of my days around people and, you know, just the sound of people's voices, the, like, people holding conversations with me, asking questions, just holding conversations, talking about nonsense, <sighs> I just, I have to take a deep breath because I want to flip out like be quiet don't talk to me leave me alone I don't want to be around you like, that's just how I feel y'all like I'm just gonna keep it real that's just how I feel but I am also really big on communicating so I talk to my fiance a lot about you know I'm very irritated today I just want to let you know you know so if I'm quiet it's it's not you it's not you know anything you're doing you're fine i love you it's me i'm irritated so if i'm quiet just let me be quiet all right um so yeah i think i covered everything those are pretty much my symptoms right now um i'm not having any cravings like i said i'm having more food aversions but there are a few things that i've been gravitating more towards um and those two things have been gatorades Specifically the yellow ones um, and then some fresh fruit from Publix if my all my down south people Florida people y'all know the fruit at Publix hits so I am literally gonna leave the house after this video and go get me a Gatorade and go get me a fruit bowl Because that is what I want today um, my prenatals that I have been taking are the one a day advanced complete with the Chloraline brain support. Um, I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see, but that's pretty much the birth control that I've been using. 
not the birth control, but that's pretty much the vitamins, the prenatal vitamins that I have been using. I absolutely like them. Um, there's no taste, so it's tasteless. They are pretty big. Um, I heard that majority of the prenatal pills are big, but you know, I'm, I'm a okay pill taker, so I don't mind taking pill. I just don't want anything liquid, so whatever. I do have my days where I don't want to take them and that's the days that I don't typically have an appetite but I force myself to take them anyways. I'm 11 weeks pregnant like I said before and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my sonogram photos and I'll also give you a glimpse of what I look like right now. Um, I don't have a bump but you can still kind of see especially when I get out the shower the shape of the belly taking form. Um, so yeah let's go ahead and get right into it. Here is picture of the baby when I first found out. I think I I was exactly six weeks in this photo. Now here it goes. That is little baby right here. Six weeks, very, very tiny. And then fast forward to when I was nine weeks. Let me show you guys how big he got at nine weeks. So this is little baby. Him right there that's the umbilical cord it's not an arm the legs yolk sac head it's a little baby but look how big he got gosh and that was nine weeks but I'm glad the baby is healthy um the heartbeat was right on par when I had my doctor's appointment and everything seemed good I have another doctor's appointment when I should be finding out the gender Possibly, I don't really care to find out the gender, so I may just delay it till I'm further along in the pregnancy. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys the bump. What will be a bump, okay? <laughs> 